So let's take this trout fillet and uh, cook it on the firebox stove. So this is a nice big steelhead fillet folded. And, uh, we're going to cut this up. We're going to use some fry magic, some oil. Use our Mora fillet knife. Thanks, Chris. And we are going to cook it on the firebox stove. See how this is. Been really busy. Green beans are starting to come out in the garden, and I've been picking and canning. Not a lot of time to get out of the woods or go camping, so this is going to be the close to camp food that I'm going to get for a few. So I'm just going to do half of it because my, me, myself, and I today, and that's going to chunk it up here, and then we're going to put it in the bag with some fry magic, just uh, cutting it in chunks. Good. Mora fillet knife. So I just added my fish, put some fry magic in there, and coat everything all up nice. Love this stuff. So I've used this thing a few times. And, uh, get up this plate. Now, seeing how I, uh, I'm just on cement, I'm not even going to use this ash tray here. But, we have our oak log here that's split into fours. And uh, we're just going to invert them here into this box. Just like so. I'm going to get some twigs to put down in there. Now well, I got some twigs stacked in here with some uh, fat wood shavings. Let's just see how this does first. Get that going, see how that does. Hopefully. That. We'll get that going. So let's get our pan and uh, we'll get some oil in it. Well, I'm just going to use some vegetable oil here. We'll get that on there. Get that heated up. Get that fish on. Well, while the grease is heating up, let's take a look at this Ozark Trail Focus backpacking chair. It's about five pounds. I wouldn't call it a backpacking chair, or camp chair. It'd be perfect for short distances or canoe, kayak camping. Um, but I've been using it a lot. I've been uh, sitting in it every evening and I have been, you know, sitting in it and snapping green beans and it just sets up just like a uh, the, the Helinox or the, the real expensive ones, but uh, this is more of a quarter of canvas type of material. I believe it holds up to 225 pounds, what it says. Um, but it's been nice. It's nice. It's comfortable. It's held up. Used it for a couple weeks now. Just seeing how I would like it. And yeah, my next uh, canoe camping trip. Uh, this is definitely going. Even out to trout camp, it's that's not that far of a trek. And um, 
it's comfortable. You sit up, sit up, and and cook in front of you, or you can lounge back. It's yeah, it's. I give it a thumbs up. The pan I'm using is one of them seven ten dollar Coleman foldable handle um, <clears throat> fry pans, and it's heavy duty. I mean the. The pan itself is pretty heavy duty, but one thing that they messed up on is, I think this is an old Ozark Trail one, but on the inside of the pan is where they put the sticker for the advertisement of the pan, and they glued it in there. So <laughs> you pay hell trying to clean out that glue from the inside of the pan, burning it out and everything is just it's stupid I don't know why somebody would want to put this sticker on the inside of the cooking surface instead of the bottom but um, looks like my grease is getting a little warm here I don't know if you can see it that's going pretty good down there I might have to try a piece see how it does alright I think we're doing pretty good on heat now so, just going to add our pieces in here. Maybe one more. Fish doesn't take that long, but uh, it's doing a nice job. Give them a flip, real quick like. This one we're gonna have to. Yeah, everybody's doing good here. There's no arguments with this stove. You have to just give them one flip. Not too long. And put them on some... Uh, put that one over. He's kind of big. Give him a wait a minute. Good. So let's get the rest of these on here. A little crunchy piece right there. We'll get these bad boys on here, and with this leftover, a little bit of leftover, maybe we'll uh, throw some zucchinis in it. Oh yeah, this guy's doing just fine, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to have enough fire to uh, slice up one of these and throw it in there. Nice little fryer zucchini out of the garden. Go with this uh, trout. I think these dudes are done here. Pretty thick pieces. Yeah, Fry Magic likes to brown it up nice. 
give it a good coating. That little crunchy piece out of there. Oh yeah. Now let's put some zucchini on there. Well, as you can see, it's still going, going strong here. Two batches of fish. Really doesn't take that long. I'm gonna throw in here some zucchinis. And, uh, these won't take that long either. Not going to fit quite all of them. We have these guys just a few minutes. These guys are turning out good too. Mm, does that smell good? Man. And they're not burnt. They may look darker, but that's what that that coating puts a nice, nice browning on the uh, whatever you're cooking in uh, lard or grease. Do a second batch of these. And these guys look good done too over there oh yeah man I'm I'm telling you what this little firebox stove this is perfect for shore lunches camping and uh, with this uh, Swedish stove where you take a piece that fits about in there about level flip them around that you can see how much I've cooked all that fish and that zucchini and uh, I mean it's still rocking wonder what else I can cook in there so I got some trout and zucchini and I could cook a lot more. I could cook a lot, lot more. And uh, you can see how much is still going. It's keeping that grease nice and hot. This Ozark Trail pan did awesome. I did like this pan. The only uh, downfall I had with it is they put the sticker <laughs> on the cooking surface and that was kind of crappy but overall I think it did good so overall everything looks good this is an awesome lunch for me high calorie grease lunch but try a piece of trout steelhead real good really good this fry magic is the bomb breading right here now it's not a wet batter it's a dry batter so oh yeah look at that awesome no let's try zucchinis try one of these over here they're not as hot Yes, done perfectly. Not too uh, mushy, but not crunchy. Kind of in between. Mm hmm. And the breading seasoning gives it a good flavor. Awesome. So, if you get you a firebox, that Swedish stove setup is pretty sweet. You can, you can 
cook an entire meal and not have to worry about adding twigs or sticks or anything. You just uh, get that going. Maybe add a couple sticks later on if you're cooking some a lot of stuff, but I mean for most meals, um, that's going to work just perfect if you're going to do burgers or or what have you. But got to remind you guys, if you're going to try uh, frying some fish or frying chicken or whatever, grease and fire are not good mixtures, so just be careful. Don't have this anywhere that, you know, you're going to catch everything on fire or burn yourself. Well guys, I think I'm going to take my Ozark Trail chair over here underneath the pines and uh, my fish and zucchini and just sit there and, and enjoy the breeze and and have me a, a nice little lunch. Oh, thank you guys for stopping by. Till next time.